Hey everybody, thanks for clicking in. I'm Danielle and here's today's quick fusion fit exercise that you can do from anywhere. So grab whatever you have and even if you don't have weights, you can still kind of do some of this stuff with us. So what we're going to do to get started, we're just going to kind of just warm it up. We're just going to run it up in place. So if you're a little bit more acclimated to the world of fitness, you've been working out a while, then I really want you to get those knees up high. If you're just starting your fitness routine, then it's okay to keep it low, especially if you have any knee problems, ankle problems, things like that. So we got those knees up, nice and high, abs are tight, a big smile on your face, because this is just so much fun. And just run, 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 you're doing great. Up. Good, let's do about 15 more. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slow it down. We're gonna grab those weights, and what we're gonna do is a side lunge out to the side. So you're gonna step out to the side, lunge, and give me a curl. Good, and lunge, curl. So what you really wanna do is on these lunges, turn that foot out, lean into it, push off that front foot, and press up. And side, curl, good. Side, curl, side, curl. You're doing great, down, and up, down, up. Good job, curl, and down, curl. 10 more right here, and 10, good, 9, 8, 7, use those arms all the way up, breathe, good, 4 more, and 4, 3, 2, last one, and 1, awesome, okay, moving forward, we're going to kick, your feet are together, you're going to balance, then you're going to swing it through to a lunge. I didn't, don't have a lot of room, so I'm going to face this way. You're going to kick front and lunge. And now this leg's straight and this leg's bend, that posture's tall. Balance, kick, kick, lunge. Good, four. So if you really want to work those abs on that kick, give it a little crunch. Feel the difference and you really Embrace it, lunge, kick, good, and four more, four, and three, good, two, last one, beautiful job, other side, feet together, posture tall, and kick, lunge, good, kick, three, crunch it, four, Five, good, six, seven. Now if you can't kick as high as me, just do a little kick. I should have told you that at the beginning, but the next round, you'll remember two. Last one. Awesome. Okay, cool. We're working our the backs of our legs. These are called deadlifts. So you really want whatever the heaviest weight you have around. You want to grab those. You're going to flat back down, all the way down, inhale up. So flat back is like that. So you stick your chest out. This is not a flat back. So you really want to straighten that posture, lower, lower, lower. Then exhale, zip it up tight. You should feel your abs shake on the way up. Inhale, up, and down. Good. This is great for strengthening the lower back. Working those hamstrings, working those abs, and down, up, good, down. I know it's not really an exciting exercise, but it definitely does a lot. Good job, up, and down, up, down, three more, and three, two, last one. Awesome. Okay, we're going to work um, your upper body. So we're going to come on down to the floor, like so. You're going to grab your weights, and we're going to do press, chest press up and down. Now, if you want to add your lower body, you can squeeze, squeeze, lower. So you decide. You can focus on just the arms, or add those hips in, too. And squeeze those chest muscles together, squeeze it tight, 
You guys are doing great. Hang with me up and down. Good. Lift. Lower. Exhale. Press. Down. And up. Good. Up. Now for these last ten, I want you to hold your hips up. And now we're just going to do the arms. And ten. Nine. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. You can do it. Hold it up. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right. Let's do some crunches while we're here. You're going to um, tabletop your legs. Option one is you're just going to crunch up and down, okay? If you want more of a challenge, you're going to straighten that leg out. You're going to come up and twist to that knee. One. Exhale. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good. Six. Seven. You're doing great. Keep it up. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Good. Now switch sides and up. One. Other or you're staying. You're still crunching up. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Eleven. Last one. Twelve legs straight up. Now you're going to crisscross the top. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Reach as high as you can. Get up to those shoelaces. Up. 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 Keep tapping it. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome. Hug it in. Rock it on up. We're going to go back to working the upper body. So we did it with the weights. Now we're going to do some push-ups. Hands uh, square down front. Abs in tight. Body, see how it's at a 45 degree angle. You're just going to press and up. If you're not ready to do push-ups like this, you could do them against the wall. Just stand about a foot, you know, in front of the wall, hands out in front, and you just press into the wall and up. And if you were at home and you could do real push-ups, then do them. I'm just doing this because it's a lot to talk and explain and breathe. Good job. Keep going. Let's do 10 more. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 more, 2, hold it down on 1, hold, pull those abs in tight, hold, hold, and release. Good. All right. We're going to work those glutes. I know every lady wants a nice, tight, tushy, so we're going to do some good bun stuff for you. Um, what you're going to do is... On, on your hands and your knees, you're just going to take that leg up, bend it, flex it, pull your abs in tight, and we're just going to pulse it up for 30. Two, three, four, five, really squeeze, six, seven, good, eight, nine, ten. Keep trying try to lift it higher. Think up with the leg, not down with the leg. Up, up, ten more, and ten, nine, good, eight, you can do it, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold it up, squeeze, now twist it out, angle it, now go up. So now you're really, ow, so you'll feel it in that hip socket, but that's good because you want those nice strong hips as you gracefully age. Up, 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 good, press, press, and ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, you're doing great, two, and one. All right, shake it out, other side, leg up, abs in tight, and lift, one, two, three, four, squeeze, five, six, seven, good, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, make it burn, ladies, press it up, up, nice and high, you can do it, good, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, now turn it out and lift it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When I teach Pilates, I do a lot of this stuff in my class because it's just awesome. You don't need to be doing crazy weights and crazy classes to tune your body. Sometimes the most simplest things like this 
do wonders. So, good job, right? Let's sit back and stretch. Ooh, that feels good. All right, so that was today's workout. So what you want to do is repeat all of that four times. I guarantee you by the fourth time, you're going to be feeling it. So do that. Feel free to click some of the other stuff, other videos on my page. But most importantly, really help me out. You'll see where it says subscribe. By clicking that, you'll get an automatic email every time I post a new video. Um, and you'll just be helping me kind of grow my YouTube interface out there to the fitness world. So I'd appreciate if you share it with your friends and then leave your comments for accountability. Let me know how you like the workout. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.